kids, welcome back to another class with Alison Cook Video Dance. Today we're going to start on the floor. Alright, let's cross our legs and we're going to start with some body mapping. So let's start actually with our eyes. So our eyes can go up, so go ahead and look up. And they can go down, go ahead and look down. Just the eyes, not the head. Eyes look up. Eyes look down. And can we look to the right? And the center. And to the left. And center. And to the right again. And center. It's so difficult not to move the head, right? Very good. Now move the head up and down. Move the head up. Down. To the right, good. To the left, to the right, to the left, and we go all the way around. Draw a big circle again. Now to the other side, draw a big circle with the head. Shoulders, shoulders up and down. Shoulders up and down. And around. Very nice. We go front, up, back, and now reverse. And back, up, front, down, and back, up, front, down, and the arm. And again, out and out, reach and cross and hug yourself. Very good. And now up, up and down. And up and down. And all the way around. Very nice. We go front, up and back. And down, out, back, up, and front, and down, and back, up, front, and down, on your ribs. Now our feet, it goes up, a little 
goodbye to those. Hello, toes. Goodbye, toes. Now, hello, toes. And now they go to the side. And they go in. And they go to the side. And now they go all the way. Very good. To the front, goodbye toes. Out and in. Now we go out and in. Very nice. Good. Okay. Very nice. Shake everything off. Now we're going to bend our knees. We're going to grab the back. to say nice and up. Let's grab our crown and put it on our head. And we're going to roll with our belly button in without having the crown falling down. Ready? Open your wrists up and just the belly button. Very good. And up. Yeah, very. Seven again. And up. Two more times. Belly button.
add them together, add them together. Very good. And then we're going to try and take this little ball and rock forward and bounce, 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 bounce. We're going to go up in three, in two, in one. All right. Are we ready for a little bit of plies? Let's have our feet together and arms on our hips. And we're going to bend our knees and up. Very good. And again. And up. Now we go on the ball one foot and we bend. And up. And down. And now other foot. Up. And then no changes by the knees. And then again. Up, bend, up, and back. Good. And now we rise up, 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 up. Come down. Watch your feet. Fifth position, first position. Ready to make a beautiful bending shape in our plie. Ready and plie. And up. And plie. And up. Now, how point. Other side, half. Plie. Up. And back again. Half. Plie. Up. And, and again. Take a big round in. Big star position. And can you go on one leg? And down. Other leg. And down. Good job, Chica. So we know that for creating a dance, we can take inspirations. From many, from many things we've seen, you can take inspiration from nature, from animals, from musical instruments, and even from different composers. Now, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take inspiration from poets, from a poet in particular whose name is Miguel de Unamuno. He uh, he was a Spanish poet and the poem we're going to take inspiration from today is called The Snowfall is so silent because it just snowed and so we actually are taking inspiration from two things from the, this poem and the idea of the snow and I hope you got the chance to go and play in the last few days. So I'm going to read it once slowly and then we're going to take piece by piece and see what movement we can create on the words and inspired by the words and the idea of snowball. All right, let's go. So the poem goes like the snowfall is so silent, so slow. Bit by bit, with delicacy, it settles down on the earth and covers over the fields. The silent snow comes down white and weightless. Snowfall makes no noise, falls as forgetting falls, flake after flake. It covers the fields gently, while frost attacks them with its sudden flashes of white. Covers everything with its pure and silent covering. Not one thing on the ground anywhere escapes it. And this is just half of it, but that's okay. It's pretty long, so we're going to work on this part today. So now let's take it piece by piece and we can create some movements on it. So the first phrase goes, the snowfall 
is so silent, so slow. So we're going to try and choose a, move, a movement for snowfall. So I will choose something like this with my fingertips is through snowfall. Mm -hmm. So it can fall on me, on my head, on my shoulders, on everything. So the snowfall is so silent. So you can choose a gesture for silent. I'll choose this. And then so, so slow. And we can choose movement for slow. So again, we have our movement for snowfall silent and slow. Alright, so I'm going to read it while we make this movement. The snowfall is so silent and slow. And now let's keep going. Bit by bit, with delicacy it settles down on the earth. So we can do bits, bit by bit, settles down on the earth. So again, we do bit by bit, settles down on the earth. So let's do it from the beginning. We have the snowfall is so silent, so slow, bit by bit, with delicacy, it settles down on the earth. So we already have something. Let's do it one more time. A little faster. The snowfall is so silent, so slow, bit by bit. With delicacy, it settles down on the earth. All right, so let's keep going now. here on earth and it covers the fields so you can you can have a big gesture for covering and it covers the fields okay so let's do it one more time adding the fields so the snowfall is so silent so slow bit by bit with delicacy, it settles down on the earth and covers over the fields. That's awesome! I'm sure you did a really great job with those movements. Are you ready to keep going? So then it goes. The silent snow comes down white and weightless. So we're here, we take it from here. And then we say the silent snow. So we can reuse these movements, right? So silent snow comes that da comes down. Maybe we can do something like this. Comes down white and weightless. So meaning we can do a weightless movement. So we're so this is the fields, and then the silent snow comes down white and weightless. Oh wait, yay! Okay, now let's see what's next. Snowfall makes no noise. So Snowfall makes no noise. Falls, and then we can maybe fall as forgetting falls. So from here we can fall as forgetting falls. And then it goes flake after flake. So maybe you can actually make a make a nice flake gesture 
or just mimic the movement of the flag coming down. So let's see where we are. So uh, let's do the second part. So when the silent snow comes down, the silent snow comes down white and weightless. Snowfall, make no noise. Falls as forgetting falls. Flake after flake. Ooh, this is a lot. Let's try from the beginning. No worries, I will always read it to you. So, the snowfall is so silent, so slow. Bit by bit, with delicacy, it settles down on the earth and covers over the fields. The silent snow comes down white and weightless. Snow falls, make snow noise. Falls as forgetting falls, flake. Now we have it covered, it covers the fields gently. So we have the fields gesture and gentle gesture. So it covers the field gently while frost. So let's think about a movement of frost. So frost, like something very sharp and very straight so while well, the frost attacks them so the frost attacks them with its sun flashes white so we can do frost and flashes let's try this again so we're here flake after flake then it covers the field Gently, why the frost attacks them with sudden flashes of what covers everything with its pure and silent covering. Mm -hmm. So we can do covers, so we have to cover everything pure and silent covering. Mm -hmm. And then we can finish it, I think. Not one thing on the ground anywhere escapes it. Maybe we can do something on the ground. Not one thing on the ground escapes it. And this is kind of free for you, I think. Whatever your interpretation can be. I am going on the floor and I'm going to try to escape without actually you know, <laughs> escaping it. I still make contact with the floor. So let's try this little last part. When it says it covers the field gently while the frost attacks them with its sudden flashes of light, covers everything with its pure and silent covering. Not one thing on the ground can escape it. All right, wow, that was all of it. Let's try to do it all from the beginning slowly. So, we're gonna go. This snowfall is so silent, so slow, bit by bit, with delicacy, it settles down on the earth and covers over the fields. This silent snow comes down, white and weightless snowfall makes no noise. Falls as forgetting falls, flake after flake. It covers the field gently while frost attacks them 
with seven flashes of white covers everything with his pure and silent covering. Not one thing on the ground can escape it. Wow, that was good, right? It was super fun. So now we're going to try and do this with some music. For this one, I chose a Spanish guitar player whose name is Francisco Tarrega. And let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna put it nice and low as volume so you can still hear my voice, okay? Ready? And let's start. This novel is so silent, so slow. Bit by bit, with delicacy, it settles down on the earth and covers over the field. The silent snow comes down, white and windless. Snowfall makes no noise, falls and gently falls. on this music without the words so it doesn't have to be in order you can take inspiration from the poetry all right let's just move freely like the snow very fun class with me and have a great weekend. Bye bye!